Hello, hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, I'm so tired. I imagine. Where do you work, Jenny? In a institution government. Oh, really? Where? In San Salvador? Yes, in San Salvador. Oh, okay. And what do you do there? I am a systems engineer and I am uh, in charge of uh, security systems. Oh, really? Wow. It's so nice. It is so nice to listen that a lady is in charge of that position. I really like that. So you are very into computers and all that. I'm sorry. So you you are very good with computers and everything. So so. <laughs> That's really nice. Congratulations. That's so good. Thanks. Hello, Lily. Hello, Claudita, Estela, Carlos, Luis Fernando, Mr. Isaías. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh -huh. How was your day, people? It was very moved. It was very moved. <laughs> it, yes. was a, it was a very active day, you say. It was I a very did. active, or you can say it was a very busy day. It was a very busy day. It was like you were like from here to there and there and there and there. And you were doing a lot of things today. So, hello, Gladys. Good evening. Welcome. Let me just fix my screen. Thank there you. Go. It is a pleasure to have you all here in this new day. It is really important that you make the time to be here to enjoy your class for sure. And we're going to continue practicing. Thank you for all the ones who sent the audio for practice. And uh, that's a very good way to do it, right? If you didn't have the opportunity to send it because your day was very busy, you can do it on the weekend, right? You can do it on the weekend. You can send it uh, to me on the weekend. But the important thing is that you practice. That's the most important part, that you keep on practicing every single day. Thank you for the ones that are sending it right now. <laughs> I am receiving some of them right now. Thank you very much. And it is really good to see that you are taking this practice serious. And in many of the cases you say, ay, teacher, es que me cuesta, me equivoco y me da pena y todo. But it's good. The idea is that you overcome those uh, fears and for sure that you do your best at the moment of working. Well, so we're going to start the class. We're going to start today by a uh, for sure, reading our class agreements, right? We are going to read our class agreements and then we are going to start practicing. Remember people, we need to practice our English as much as possible. We need to ask for help if it's needed. We need to keep our cameras off all the time. <laughs> on, sorry, <laughs> we know off is the opposite. <laughs> Keep your cameras on all the, all the time. Keep the microphone off if you are not using it. Attend all your sessions on time. Thank you for being here on time. Uh, participate as much as possible, right? That is very important. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and for sure, collaborate a lot with your friends on the WhatsApp group. And I am going to add another agreement here. Here, I am going to add uh, number nine. And I am going to add the practice your speaking with the audios every day. There you go. I added a new agreement here. Now we have another one. We have nine. And that is going to be a uh, good. So let's start people. Uh, we are going to start today by using the chat. We are going to use the chat 
And I need you please, um, I need you please to use the uh, chat in Zoom, right? I need you to use the chat in Zoom and I need you to do the following, okay? Vamos a utilizar todos el chat de Zoom para esta actividad. So, eh, todos lo ubican donde está, ¿sí? Todos ubicamos donde está el chat de Zoom. Yes, teacher, yes, no teacher. teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So, on the chat, on the chat, I need you to look for, thank you very much, you found it. I need you to look for an emoticon that represents your day, okay? I need you to look for an emoticon that represents your day. Busquen un emoticon que represente su día, pero no le pongan nada más. Just the picture. Go ahead. I need you to look for an emoticon that represents your day. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Very good, very good. Okay, I will send you mine. <laughs> okay, thank you. Send, send your emoticon. <laughs> thank you, Stella. You have a combination. Gladys, oh my God. <laughs> Jenny, that makes me feel worried. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I think most of you have sent it. So, uh, let me know if you are missing to send your emoticon. And um, we are going to use them, okay? We are going to use them here. Okay. So here we have all the emoticons that you have sent. Can you look at them? Todos pueden ver la pantalla de los emoticones? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, so I am going to choose like three or four. I am going to choose three or four random, okay? I am going to choose some random emoticons, three or four of them. And I am going to choose Lilian Estela. What does it represent? It's a, yeah, it's a crazy day for me. Why? Because I did many stuff. Here I am in San Miguel, in fact. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in, in a town. And I am losing the internet connection. I am, I am from one place to another place looking for the, the better signal. <laughs> you are like, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Lily. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so the emoticon <laughs> goes perfect with your day. Thank you for your explanation. Very nice. Let's see. Yeah. Alejandra Magaña. Why that face? Why that face, Alejandra? Yeah, nor like a neutral day, like a normal day for me. It was a meh. <laughs> so you didn't do much today. It was yeah. a, a neutral day. Yeah. Did you feel bored? A little bit, yeah. Okay. okay, so it tells me. Let me see. Claudia Janet, why that exploding face? Well, but, well, well uh, make me, my head fly. Oh, really? <laughs> much work. Oh. It was urgent. Uh, yeah, everything was urgent. Well, I, I do something with, with my teachers, right? Because I work with, with teachers, right? And I say, okay, what is urgent that I have to do it right now? Urgent that it can wait? Important and just a matter of attention, right? Classify it. <laughs> if, if it is urgent for right now, yes. If it is urgent that can wait, yes. If it yes. is important, it can be done tomorrow. But if it is just for attention, th those are the four categories. When they go and say like, Mira, directora, la necesito. And I say like, it, okay, in which category? Urgent, very important, like emergency. Mm, important, they say, ah, okay, what's going on? 
So a lot of things that were important. Thank you. Sandra Mungia, what happened? Look at that face. Um, Germany love. Um, hi, hi, you had to do a lot of things today. Oh my God. Okay. Look at mine. Did you see my, my emoticon? It is a person climbing. I had many things to do today. And I felt that I was like going up and up and up and up. And I was like, I never finished. <laughs> Where is the top of this? I said, like, nunca llegué al, al, a la montaña. I was like going up and up and up and up. It was a very difficult day. Josue Isaías, why? Why that scary face? Uh, no, it's a surprise. Ah, surprise face. <laughs> yes, because Germany it was eliminated from the World Cup. Ah! <laughs> and Spain was almost the fraud. <laughs> so, okay, okay. <clears throat> boys will ever be boys. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so is Andrita, it's also a fan of of this good Jose Arturo are you sad because of Germany as well oh good evening no Hello. um I I can't find an emoticons uh, but I I had a very busy day I recently arrived from from work oh my god so you are very tired Yes, I, I exhausted. I imagine. Estela, you have three feelings. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Uh, because my day is start with mush, mush ring. <laughs> you were yeah. sleepy. You say, I was sleepy. It's like tenía mucho sueño, right? I was sleepy. Yeah. I was sleeping. My day is is my days was funny, relaxed, thank you, in practice, and, and finish. <laughs> tired, it's very tired. Yeah. Oh my God. Gladys, are you sick? Yes, teacher, I have a cold. Oh my God. Yeah. I spent my day with uh, some flu, oh nasal congestion. A cough. Oh my so, God. Uy, be careful uh, because our friend COVID is uh, around. Uh, oh my God. Is it my internet or is it yours? A uh, very pretty. Nice. <laughs> Ok, Gladys, creo que se nos cortó su, su conexión, porque no sé si solo yo la escuchaba cortada o todos la escucharon igual. ¿Hola? Ok, hoy ya te escucho. Ok, ya, yeah, I got it, I got it, hoy ya te escucho. Yo, yo solo, I, I, <laughs> I don't know, how do you say, no me sentí productiva este día. I didn't feel productive, I didn't, or you can say, I didn't feel as productive as I am. I didn't feel as productive as I am. Tan productiva como yo soy. And the last one. Rosa Esmeralda, why that face? Hmm. Thank you, Gladys. I hope you feel better. Palagrip no me paga nada por este comercio. Thank you. Teacher, pongo esa carita porque siento que lo del horario de la plataforma no siento muy presionado. O sea, yo estoy logrando avanzar, va, pero sinceramente se me está haciendo difícil porque soy mamá. Ay, I know. I know. I understand. Okay, Rosa. Eh, I sent you, I sent you the schedule on how to do it. Eh, recuerden que en la plataforma todas las actividades son importantes pero las que son evaluadas son más importantes todavía. Entonces tratemos de trabajar en las evaluadas y pues obviamente para ir cubriendo el avance y de ahí ustedes pueden ir cubriendo las demás a su propio ritmo. Pero las evaluadas que son quizás las más importantes, hay que irlas trabajando. Y si de repente alguna se les complica, send me a message. 
mándenme una captura, dígame, teacher, me he trabado en esta. Teacher, no sé cómo hacer esta. And we can do it, okay? So, eh, we are going to advance on that a little bit tomorrow and on Monday. So, don't worry, Rosita. Okay? And let me see. Luis Fernando, throwing kisses. Was it a romantic day? <laughs> no, teacher. The <laughs> thing is that I, I, I had to, I had a, a day off by today. <laughs> oh, okay. So it was nice. Okay. I'm better, I'm, better, I'm better relaxed now. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. A poner un besito. Era estaba silbando. <laughs> it was like, oh, sí, sí, <laughs> <laughs> That is so great. Yeah, yeah. I'm still all day. Uh -huh, ah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it, I thought it was a love day. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's a self self love day. It was a day for you and yourself. That is so cool. Well, my dear class, yesterday we started talking about personality traits and uh, we were working on the different adjectives for personality. We were discussing about the ideal person. And today I ask you to describe your best friend because in that the idea is that you use the adjectives, right? And yesterday we were talking about Chris and Kim, that Kim was throwing like messages that she wants to go with him to the party, but she he didn't, he didn't get it, right? So uh, we were talking about this, but based on this, we were uh, kind of introducing the grammar topic that we are going to be covering, right? And the grammar topic for this is the uh, relative pronouns, right? With clauses. And in this case, we are going to use the words who and that to complement or to complete sentences. And I am going to explain you a little bit more. I am just marking a couple of sentences that we are going to use. In this case, we say, what kind of guys do you like? What kind of guys do you like? That's the question that he was making. And it says, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. When you use the word, when you use the word who, who are you talking about? Cuando usamos la palabra who, ¿a quién nos estamos refiriendo? Alguien que... Uh -huh. But if you say, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. Alguien. Uh -huh. but, you uh -huh. but in the sentence, en esta oración, ¿a quién se está refiriendo? I like guys who aren't too the serious. Guys. Guys, right? They, exactly. Perfect She's degree. talking. Exactly. Right. She's talking about the guys, the boys. Right. I like guys who are into serious and who have a good sense of humor. If we use that in Spanish, you say like, uh, me gusta la gente que, right? Me gusta la gente que eh, no es tan seria, que tiene muy buen sentido del humor. When you say, eh, que tiene muy buen sentido del humor, tenemos el sujeto tácito de who, la gente, right? And in this case, I would prefer someone I have something in common with. I prefer someone who I can talk to easily, right? In this case, who, it refers to that someone, right? So this is a little introduction for the relative pronouns in clauses. And I am going to show you a little bit more on this. In this case, when you have relative pronouns as the subject of the clause, right? Aquí está como sujeto. Y aquí está como objeto de la oración, right? Because it falls into the person. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys who have a good sense of humor. And, it, and in this case, it says, I prefer someone who I have fun with. I prefer someone who I can talk to easily, right? In this case, you use it in the second part of the sentence, right? When you use, I would prefer, you use in the second sentence. But if I say, I like guys who, that is the subject of the sentence. Me gustan los chicos que no son serios. Me gustan los chicos que 
tienen un buen sentido del humor. And in the other sentence, like, yo preferiría a alguien que o con quién. In this case, in the second sentence, it means con quién. Con quien yo pueda divertirme. Con quien yo pueda hablar. Right? When you use it in the second form, si lo usamos en la segunda forma con I would prefer someone, con quién yo pueda hablar. So who and that means something different. And in this case, you say, me gustan los chicos que no son serios, que tienen un buen sentido del humor. So that's the difference in the use. When you use it with I like and when you use it with I, I would prefer. So <clears throat> in this case, as you can see, on the second sentence, you have a subject, right? Si se fijan, en el segundo caso tenemos un sujeto en la oración. Y en esta no tenemos el sujeto porque esto es el sujeto. So, in this case, we have to make sure that you are using a sentence that has a subject or not. In this case, for example, let's make some sentences. I don't want to have a partner who, and it says letter D, I have nothing in common with. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have a partner who I have nothing in common with. In this case, I enjoy teachers who, what will be the best combinations? I enjoy teachers who help me understand things easily. Help me understand things easily. Right? I enjoy teachers who help me understand things easily. Good. I would prefer a roommate who or that. I will prefer a, a roommate who is quiet, considerate, and neat. Is quiet, considerate, and neat. Having a roommate, it's very difficult. Right? Because. Sure. What is neat? Neat is organized, clean and perfect. Right? Okay. That is neat. Quiet. Considerate is like that you know and you consider the other person. And neat is when a person is very organized. That's the meaning of neat. Tell me, are you neat? Yes, no, a little bit. In <laughs> some oh, cases. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. I prefer don't <laughs> talk about. <laughs> Neat is like, me levanté y la cama perfecta, bien hechita, preciosa. No, la casa que quede trapeada antes de irme. No, los trastes que queden secos y guardados antes de irme. Maybe not. El almuerzo va en cada contenedor con su tenedorcito individual. El café ya va listo en el termo. I don't even have. Ni llamar y dos pupusas y un café, por favor. Thank you very much. So, that is me. ¿Cuál? ¿Dos? ¿Tres? <laughs> yeah, but maybe they are big. So, a person who is very neat, you will see him or her totally organized, right? You can be clean and organized. And you say like, nah, yeah, it's good. But neat, it has to be perfect. Do you know someone who is very neat? ¿Conocen a alguien que sea realmente uh, ordenado, organizado como totally neat? Yes, my mom. Yes, my mother. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your mother is like, hija. Y esta taza aquí. Señora, <laughs> ¿qué tiene? I will use it later, you say. That is the meaning of need, right? The next one. The next one says, um, I don't like to be with people. I, I don't, don't like... feel comfortable around. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable around. I don't feel comfortable around, right? I don't like to be with people who I don't feel comfortable around. Okay, when you say like, mm, I don't like this group of people. I don't know, the vibes are not nice. And you understand, right? When they are like, 
Amiga. And you're like, hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> then he's like, hmm. So that is like when you don't feel comfortable. I discuss my problems with friends who can give me a good advice. Can give me a good advice, right? Can give me a good advice. I discuss my problems with friends who can give me a good advice. Advice is consejo, right? I would like to have a boss who I respect as a leader. I respect, I respect as, a as a leader, right? The leader is the one who guides and accompanies, and that is beautiful. And the boss is like, do this, do that, na 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 na. So, I, if the person is a leader, we really respect that person, and the boss too, right? But we will prefer a leader. I like to meet people who have a good sense have of, a good sense, have of a good sense of humor. Do you consider that you have a good sense of humor, people? Yes. Yes. Um, Do you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You say yeah. I say yes, but uh, other people, I don't know what <laughs> they think. Yeah. Well, from time to time, it is good to tell a joke. It is it is good. I don't know <clears throat> if they laugh for kind or because I, I funny. <laughs> for kindness. Okay, so from one to ten, what is the most dangerous number? From one to ten, do you know what is the most dangerous number? No <clears throat> idea? Huh? Un chiste en inglés para que lo cuenten a sus amigos en inglés. What is the most dangerous number from one to ten? Um, no idea. No idea. No idea. Seven. Why? Seven. Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Analyze it. <laughs> what is the past tense of eat? ¿Cuál es el pasado de comer? What is the past eight. tense of eat? Eight. 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 So eight. seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you say though those are the English jokes. They are not so good. They are not so good <laughs> as in Spanish, but <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. One year later. Yes, okay. Do you want to know something? Uh huh. You ask, you ask um, two or four or three, etc. Uh huh. Because, because number one never knows. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Number one, never know. Uno nunca sabe. Ah. <laughs> Por number one. Hey. Yeah. Ay. No. <laughs> Pobrecito el uno. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> si le van a preguntar a los números, no le pregunten al uno. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Because one never knows. That, that works at Spanish and in, in English. In, in Spanish and in English. What a good joke. Thank you, Joaquin. I am going to add it to my to my <laughs> to my jokes in English. Take That'll notes. be good. I, I, I will keep it in mind. Yeah. Okay. That's so cool. Thank you very much. So as you can see here, we have a lot of different uh, adjectives to describe different people and to describe for sure the clauses that we are using. So <clears throat> If I tell you, who is a, a kind person? Can you give me a definition of a kind person? So you say, a kind person is someone who... Yeah. A, a kind, 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 right? I am going to write it on the chat. Okay, kind. 
A kind person is someone who. Mm -hmm. What? ¿Qué definición le dieran? A kind person is someone who is patient. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Who else? Is A respect. Kind. It's respectful, it's creative, kind, una persona amable, a kind person is someone who mm -hmm. helps others. Gentle? A gentle, very good. He as someone who is gentle. Good. Okay, Carlos, which one? Amiable. Amiable. Amiable, it's good. Amiable, right? A kind person is someone who is. It's good, but that's good. Someone who is amiable. Someone who gives directions to lost people. Yes, very good. That is something kind. Very good. Let me see. Tell me, who is a teacher, people? A teacher is a person who... Um, is a person who... Uh -huh. Help me to understand Why? easily. Okay, help you understand things easily. Estela? Okay, a person who more ideas has a lot of patience. Share knowledge. It's very funny to teach him. Shares knowledge is very funny. Who enjoys helping people? Who guides people to understand things? Very good definitions, right? That is uh, most of the use of the relative pronouns are going to be accompanied by a who or that in this case. Tell me, what type of people do you prefer as friends? What type of people do you prefer as friends? I would prefer someone who... It's quite considerate and neat. Okay, I would prefer someone... Okay. Have a good sense of humor. Okay, I like I people who have a good one. sense of humor. Uh huh. Who is genuine? Who help me understand things easily? Who can help me understand things easily? Good. Who is who can, humble? Who can keep a uh, secret? Who can keep secrets? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it is difficult. It is difficult yes. because the, if the friendship finishes, you have to go together. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it is it is good that you both have secrets in common because it's like, huh? you remember, right? That I know things and you know things. <laughs> so that is the, mainly the use of the uh, relative pronouns as objects and as subjects. The only thing that you need to remember is that when you use, I will prefer someone who, you use a complete sentence later. And in this one, I like people who, and uh, you use only the subject and the verb. Uh, it is implied because you are using it here. And you don't use another subject because who and that is the subject. I have here other examples, right? Let me just go and move to the next slide. And I am going to have you here just reading this one, okay? Here you have. And here we have different types of personality adjectives. If you don't know the meaning of one, we are going to do some internet research, right? I need you to analyze all of them, analyze them. And if you don't know any, write it on your notebook and let's look for the meaning, okay? Si no conocen alguno, escríbanlo en su cuaderno. And I need you to look for the meaning. I am going to give you the meanings later too. Okay. But right now I need you to write the ones that you don't know. Escriban en su cuaderno los que de veras no sepan qué significan. Okay. I am going to give you a couple of minutes for you to read and analyze. Okay. And I am going to open the attendance so I can call the attendance for everybody. Okay, read and analyze it. Only the ones that you really, really don't know, okay? Todos, teacher. It's more easy to say that all of them. 
It's easier. Easier. More easy? No. Easier. Porque easy es un verbo chiquito. ¿Ok? Y casi siempre con los verbos pequeños ocupamos R al final. Con los verbos, con los adjetivos más largos, como beautiful, decimos more. More beautiful. ¿Ok? Ok. So, write the ones that you consider that you don't know. Okay, I am going to call the attendance. When you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Alejandra Cristina? Present. Astrid Michelle? Present. Blanca Estela? Present. Carlos Alfredo? Present. Claudia Yanet? Present. Ever de Jesús? Present. Gabriel Stephanie? Gladys Imelda? Present. Griselda Elizabeth? Jasmine Present. Vanessa? Thank you. Present, Miss. Joaquin Ruperto? You're right, teacher. Thank you. Jorge, Jose Arturo? Present. Jose Manuel? Here I am. Present. Jose Isaías? Here, teacher. Lilian Estela? Present, teacher. Luis Fernando? Present. Luis Roberto? Present. Madeline Gabriela? Present. Thank you, Madeline. And Manuel Aristides? Mr. Manuel? Olivia Emanuel? Olivia? We no tenemos a Olivia. Oh. Okay, let me see. Paola Maria? Present. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda? Present. Sandra Cecilia? Present. Walter René? Present. Jenny Maritza? Present. Thank you very much. Okay, Olivia, no, right. Olivia Manuel, Manuel Aristides. No estamos. Okay, good. And I think that's it. And Gabriela Stefan, that it's not. Okay, good, very good. <clears throat> Let's continue then. Let me see, boastful, witty, good. Okay, let's go back to here. Let's go back here and tell me, did you investigate the ones that you didn't know? ¿Se fueron a buscar qué significan? Of course. What is I the too. meaning? What is the meaning of boastful? Actencioso. Ah. wrong. Pamparrón. It's a person who talks a lot about himself, right? That's a boastful person. What is the meaning of selfish? Egoísta. Uh -huh. Egoísta. But give me a definition. Try to build a definition in English. A selfish person is someone who? Someone who... Don't doesn't share, doesn't share with others. Doesn't share with others. Very good. A person who doesn't share with others. It's like, no, mine. 
What is the meaning of jealous? Celoso. Ah. Celoso. In English, how will it be? <laughs> a jealous uh, person is someone who is sure. toxic. A, to a toxic pet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it can be. Uh, what is generous? What is the meaning of generous? Generoso. Someone that likes to share with others. Someone who likes to share with others. Good. Try to build up your definition in English. What is the meaning of lazy? Lazy. Yes. Is it is a, a person who? It's a person who? It's a person who doesn't like work. work. <laughs> It's a person who doesn't work, who doesn't like to do anything, who loves to sleep. <laughs> I got a lot of definitions, right? What is the meaning of a, let me see, cheerful? Careful. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. A cheerful person is someone who? Every day, get up. A person who is funny, right? A person who enjoys every day, right? A person who is always happy. That's a cheerful person. In many of the cases, it's not cheerful because it's always happy, but it makes people feel happy, right? That is someone cheerful, right? El que hace sentir bien a los demás. That is cheerful. What is the meaning of reliable? Confiable, confiable, right? So, but in English, how will it be? It's a person you can rely on. That you can rely on, right? Good, reliable. A person that you can rely on. That is the meaning of reliable. Que puedes confiar en esa persona. What is the meaning of brave? What is the meaning of brave? Brave. Yeah. Is the person, person who is uh, very brave? Person a person don't have fear. A person. Okay. A person. A person who is not easily scared. Right. A person who is not afraid. What is the meaning of clumsy? A clumsy. With. A full person. <laughs> a, a full person, right? A clumsy person, it's it's kind of cool, but clumsy is that it's very distracted. And it's like, ah, hey, I didn't see it. I didn't know. And it's like, oh, look, a concert <gasps> yesterday. <Me>? <laughs> so they usually like, mira, tenía entradas para este concierto el mes pasado. So that's a clumsy person that you are like, ah. Like <laughs> Dory. Like, like, like Dory, right? They say like, ah, come on. Dory. I usually search my, my glasses and I... And you have I, them on, right? Yeah. Good. It happens to me that I say like, what are the keys? What are the keys? And I have the keys on my hand. <laughs> and it's like, have you seen my cell phone? And I say like, I don't know. Pone la lámpara. And you use the lamp of yourself looking for yourself. <laughs> it that, to me that, is to be, that is to be clumsy, that you are very distracted and you are absent-minded, right? That is the same meaning. Absent-minded is like when you are not paying attention and you say like, ah, I forgot. And you say like, ah, my backpack smells horrible. And then you have a chori from last week, right? Un chori que compró y nunca se comió. Like, ah, I can't have un chori. <laughs> it's like, that's absent-minded that you just forget things and you don't remember, right? That is uh, the meaning of uh, absent-minded as you well. You think it would be good? Or... You say, yeah. <laughs> and you smell to see if it, if it still works, right? Do you know <laughs> what is the meaning of easy going? What is the meaning of easy going? 
It's a pedrecito. It's, it's a person who is a little bit patient. It is a little bit patient, uh huh, but it has a specific definition. Easy going. It can trick with any kind of personality. It can it can deal with any kind of personality, right? A person that doesn't complicate or a person who doesn't complicate his or her life. And they are like, yeah, it is good. Don't worry about it, right? Mm -hmm. A naughty person, a naughty person, it's a person who is always thinking how to do bad on others. Como hacerle el mal a los demás. That is someone naughty. It's like, come on, that person, it's really naughty, right? It's really bad. And it's really, uh, well, for example, in the kids, in the little kids, the adjective naughty, it's for pícaro, pícaro, pero <laughs> malillita, right? That is like, <laughs> he does the things because he wants to do something bad to other people. That is the meaning of naughty. And it's like, oh, shit, come on. What is the meaning of witty? Witty. Witty. This one that we have right here. Witty. A creative person. A who what? can solve the stuff. Okay. A creative person who can A solve funny the person. Stuff. Oh, witty. Did you find it online? Lo investigaron? Witty. Yeah. It's a person who have a very crea creative Okay, that is very creative, right? What yeah. is the meaning of ruthless? Esta es una H, perdón, que se ve toda rara. Ruthless. That's an H. Ruthless. What is the meaning of ruthless? A mean person. A mean person, right? Ruthless, it's a person that you, well, you use in Spanish, right? Que lo hace con dolo, alevosía, ventaja. Ruthless. That doesn't Mal, care, no. right? So Mal that is malintencionado, exactly like that. That is ruthless. And greedy. What is the meaning of greedy? Everybody in Google right now, huh? Yeah, I, I can... What is uh, greedy? The person that person that only wants the stuff for herself exactly like that greedy I'm is sure. a, it's a person who wants everything for him or herself do you remember rico macpato yeah he yeah. was he was very greedy right right even is as crucial as well he was yeah. very greedy that that duck it was very rich but he but very He's stingy. A pants. <laughs> yes. Don so cangrejo. Don Cangrejo also. It's very greedy, right? He keeps every single coin for himself, right? And what is the opposite of greedy? What is the opposite of greedy? Generous. 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 Very good generous. job. Generous, right? The opposite of greedy is generous. What is the opposite of uh, let me see. Patient. What will be the opposite of patient? Impatient. <laughs> Impatient, right? Impatient. What, is the, what is the opposite of patient? Impatient, right? <laughs> Good. What is the opposite of reliable? Confiable. A liar, man. A liar. Unreliable. 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 <laughs> you can also say jealous. Jealous, right? Reliable because you are giving yourself on the relationship, but the other, the counterpart would be jealous, right? You'll be like, hmm. Okay, ¿para dónde vas? ¿Quién es ella? ¿Por qué te habla? ¿Por qué te mira? Es la señora de la recarga. Ah, ah, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> es mi mamá. <laughs> ah, sorry, señora. ¿Por qué te dicen mi amor? 
<laughs> es mi mamá. <laughs> so jealous. That's the contrary. So with all these, with all these things, I need you to choose 10. I need you to choose 10 for you to work on the relative clause. And you are going to write the definition, right? A quiet person is someone who talks a little bit on situations, for example. It is not for right now, but I need you to choose 10. I am going to send you the image, right? Les voy a enviar la imagen ahorita al chat para que los puedan escoger el día de mañana para la clase de mañana. So we're going to use it uh, tomorrow. Write the complete sentence, right? A kind person is someone who, a cheerful person is, I prefer someone who is cheerful because of this and this, and you write the different definitions, okay? So there you have the image on the chat. And you can choose 10 for you to create the different sentences, okay? The idea is that you create sentences using who or that, okay? There you have it on uh, the chat. Meanwhile, I am going to give you some examples, right? These are some examples of what you are going to do. And here I have, for example, kind. What is the definition of kind? Can you all read it, please? Oh, Ay oh, a person uh -huh. who is good to other people. To other people. Kind. It's a person who is good to other people. What about clever? A person who is good to other people. What about funny? A person who makes people laugh. Laugh. Okay. Friendly. A person who is listening and warm. And warm. What about talkative? And warm. A person who talk a lot. Who talk a lot. Shy. A person who can talk easily to people. No. Okay. A person who can't talk easily to people, he or she doesn't know. What about generous? And lazy. A person who doesn't like to work. A person who doesn't like to work. Okay. So for yourself, from all these adjectives, the todos estos adjetivos que están aquí. Which one do you consider is the best for you? Which one do you consider is the best for you? Oh. Generous. For me, shy. Funny. Okay, shy. Yay. Funny. Funny, good. Generous. Friendly. Generous. Friendly. Okay, kind. friendly. Kind. Mm. Okay, friendly. friendly. I think I am, I think I am a friendly, talkative, uh, and generous. Tell me one that you are not. So you say, no, teacher, I am not. I am not lazy. I am not lazy. Give me another one that you are not. I am not ruthless. I am not ruthless. Yes, for sure. <laughs> I am not. I am not shy at all. I am not shy. No, I don't know that word. Esta palabra no la conozco. I am not shy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, are you generous people? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit, right? <laughs> From time to time, depending, <laughs> depending with whom you say. Okay, yeah, it, it happens, right? You have to be, you have to know with whom you are generous. So here I have a little exercise that we are going to do together. I have here a set of adjectives with definitions. What is the correct definition for each of them? I need you to get one adjective and one definition, and you can tell me is to it match it. Kind. Is it going? Is it going? Uh huh. 
it's letter P, right? Oh, sorry, sorry, it's letter H, it's positive. Easygoing is a person who doesn't worry much yes. or get angry. Or get easy. angry. And this is a positive adjective, right? It is positive. Mm -hmm. The N is for negative. Egotistical. What do you think this one is? Or inflexible, modest, sociable, stingy. stingy. All right. Tacaño. Supportive, temperamental, and unreliable. Can you find the definition for them? <coughs> It doesn't have to be in order. No tiene que estar en order. Me pueden decir cualquiera. A person who doesn't worry most or get angry excited. A, a, a person a someone person. who doesn't like sharing. Okay, which one? A stingy. 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 Letter two. <laughs> what is that? Babe? Letter. Letter <laughs> two. Is uh, has relation with uh, the letter G. Inflexible. <laughs> Inflexible. Not egotistical. Egotistical. A person who has with unpredictable. With no. the G. Okay. Egotistical. What is ego? Okay, or tell me the other ones. Uh, <laughs> number two. Number two. Yes, okay, number let, two. Let, I am going to go okay. first. Okay, I'm going to go first with Josue, then with Sandra, and then with Joaquin. Josue, which one? Uh, number two, maybe Lurcy. Someone who has a very high opinion of his or, or himself. Yes. Egotistical, right? Here, Lego. Here. Someone who has a very high opinion of him or herself. Sandra, which one? Inflexible is a person who doesn't change easily and is too stupid. Okay, it's a person who doesn't change easily and it is stubborn. Stubborn is like Perco, como mula, right? That's inflexible. Yes, Carlos? In the number two, egotistical mm -hmm. has relationship with the letter B, someone who doesn't like sharing. Well, egotistical, Maybe. egotistical is a, como con, con el ego elevado. Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. And a stingy, yes, a stingy is someone who doesn't like sharing. I believe it, it was selfish ah selfish. selfish no no yeah something selfish no it, it is similar it is similar griselda i'm oh, sorry joaquin was going to say something numbers fine uh-huh sociable sociable what is the definition um is a person in enjoy being with other person it's a person who enjoys being with other people very good sociable griselda the number age temperamental uh -huh. uh, Larry, Larry G, a person who has un predicate predictable or irregular mood temperamental right a person who has unpredictable or irregular moods what about the next one I think Gladys you had your hand up no unreliable Unreliable, unreliable, unreliable and supportive and modest. We are missing those. Um, support, supporting, uh -huh. it's a bird who is helpful and encouraging. Okay, we have this one here. Someone who is helpful and encouraging. And I think, uh, Ale, which one? Reliable. Unreliable person, is yeah, a person who doesn't do what what he or she promised. Okay, unreliable is a person who doesn't do what he or she promised. That is unreliable. And the last one, modest. 
Mothers, mothers someone and one who, who doesn't, doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. It doesn't brag. Doesn't brag is like que no se jacta de, right? It's a person who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments, right? So here you have other definitions and similar to these ones are the ones that you are going to create, okay? Similar, similar, similar to this one. You have to create your own definitions for tomorrow, okay? So my dear students, I am going to see you tomorrow then with this little homework. Thank you very much for your time today. I really enjoy this day. And think about the adjectives for yourself. Think about all the great adjectives that you have and those ugly ones that are there, okay? Piensen en ustedes mismos. ¿Qué adjetivos buenos tenemos? ¿Y qué adjetivos ahí maluca tenemos también? Because you will use them in class, okay? For tomorrow. Have a good night, you. and I'm going to see you, you tomorrow, you. my dear students, for the next class. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you Have tomorrow. A Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye, my dear class. <laughs>